So with that, I want to move into some of the other topics that we're that we want to cover, and let's go ahead and open up um, this multi-bodied. Well, 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 this part here, where I'm going to show a couple of things. Uh, one is I'm going to use this one part to show um, how we can convert a solid model into sheet metal, and how we work with multi-bodied sheet metal parts. So the basic functionality for converting solids into sheet metal is to come up here and use this tool called convert to sheet metal key in your sheet metal parameters over here and then if I select a face you can see it just basically begins my sheet metal part by thickening that face then I can come in here and I can select um, I can select this as a bend and then it gives me uh, the adjacent face uh, thickness up here and then across over here as well by selecting that bend so that's one way to do it I finish that off we've you know begun creating our sheet metal part um, so if you notice in the feature manager here we've already we've already begun the process just to save some time if I roll down that first step has already been done and then I have a couple of other sheet metal features in here as well uh, we've got this wall here which is pretty much just converting the uh, a sketch on the side of this thing and then thickening it into a sheet metal part same with the opposite side okay so I have some finishing up to do. I've created a sketch here and here. These sketches are just converted from the original solid model. I'm going to create additional sheet metal components and basically these would be the individual fabricated parts. So we'll thicken that into sheet metal. Again, this is a multi-body sheet metal part. You know, we're not we don't see a bend between these at all. So in a one a single part file, we're putting all the fabricated pieces in here that the assumption is we would be um, welding these up uh, at some point. Okay, let's do the same thing for this sketch. And here's where we get into some really powerful functionality which really lends itself toward the typical design process. In looking at this, it's like, well, I really don't want to fabricate one plate here, one plate here. I can make a better overall sheet metal component if I bridge these two making it a single part with two bends in it, I can very easily do this by going to my edge flange tool, begin an edge flange from this part, and then if I choose the edge of this adjacent part, it says, oh great, well we'll just attach it to the both, making them one part for you. And then I'll tell it where I want that edge flange positioned. And it's taken those two separate sheet metal parts and built them into one fabricated part. I can do the same thing up here. I've got this plate and this plate decide no well let's, let's just join them as, as one now just put a flange between the two and uh, position that flange here like that so even though this would eventually just you know once it's welded it really is considered one part um, you'll notice that the folder for my solid bodies now says cutless because this is a combined sheet metal and weldment environment now um, uh, this this has been done so because um, when you weld fabricated sheet metal parts together, it really is a weldment. So we have all of our weldment functionality available in this environment. Now, for documenting each sheet metal part, I can create drawings of each fabricated piece here. Even though they're not in separate part files, I can create flat patterns. I can even right here in the 3D model, I can select one of them and look at the flat pattern. Select that one, look at the flat pattern. And very important for outputting manufacturing information for CNC programming, most of the um, routers out there and uh, punch presses take DXF files these days. So um, SolarWorks made it very convenient from my solid environment to output a DXF file of the flat pattern without the need to create a drawing. I just right click on any of the pieces and click on export to DXF, give it a name. Over here, we're out exporting it for sheet metal, which instructs SolarWorks to actually take that piece and flatten it. <laughs> um, I, can I can come down here and say I want library features in there, and I want my bend lines in there, and OK that. And before it creates it, it's going to actually preview it in a little window so I can see exactly what's going to be output for manufacturing. This also gives me the opportunity, you'll notice, like remove uh, entities here. I can zoom in here, and I can uh, literally come in here and you know, grab some stuff and say, oh, re remove that. For some reason, we just don't feel like 
punching that. <laughs> and then click on save, and then that's the file that's output for manufacturing, all done in one simple step. <laughs>